So this is a quick lesson on how to determine your wheel to axle ratio. All right, the question is why would you want to determine it? Well, you have a certain amount of string on your mousetrap. This is very dilapidated, but you can get the idea. You have a certain amount of string, and it wraps around the drive axle a certain amount of times. The string can only pull, make the car go forward, as long as it's unwrapping itself. So the thickness of the axle, the length of the string, and the size of the wheel are all the factors that determine how long that pull can last. So what you actually want to measure is how far around your wheel is. So I have three different things to show you. The first is a regular CD wheel. So you can measure the distance it takes to go around if you put that arrow down. You roll it once around. And, well, close enough. I measured it yesterday. This strip fits around this wheel once. Does anyone know what this distance is called around the outside it's of the circumference? Exactly. So that is the circumference of the CD. If you use a smaller wheel, you're going to have a smaller circumference like this. And then the bare axle has a really small circumference compared to the two of them. So this goes around there once. Now, every time you wrap the string around here once, let's say you have these big wheels on here. So for every string that wraps around here once, how far is the car going to go? One, 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 one of the circumferences. Exactly. So in other words, this much string um. will make the car go this far. Mm -hmm. If you have small wheels, this much string will make the car go this far. And what you need to figure out is how much um, string, you, how much distance you get out of each centimeter of string. So you have to figure the string to distance ratio. And that is the axle circumference divided by the drive wheel circumference. And there's a couple ways to figure that out. You can do what I did. You can roll it on a piece of paper, mark the beginning and the end, and measure it with a ruler or a meter stick. Or you could take a ruler or this cool tool. What is it? It's called a caliper. Caliper. And a caliper is a very accurate way for measuring the size of something. It's like a weapon. It does. <laughs> so, because it looks like pliers. Right. It's basically pliers that can measure something. Don't trust me with that. So, if I put it around the axle, you can actually read it. There's a little red mark there, and it says that that is 0.5 centimeters. And since we're coming up on Pi Day, it's a perfect time to know. Oh my God. To figure something like that yeah, out. One four one five two three five. No one five. Pi. Nine. Pi or six. 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 Right. No. Nope. That's area. Pi mm. is approximately equal to three point one two, and the circumference of. Can you stop talking? We're trying to make a movie. Circumference equals pi times the diameter. So you measure the diameter, which is point five times pi, three point one four, and you get the circumference around that. So what you basically have to do is figure out the circumference of your axle, divide it by the circumference of the wheel, and, and you, get, you get how, for every centimeter of string, how far it's going to pull the car. Last thing, who here has something on their axle other than just the bare metal? Tape. Exactly. Torque. So, so in order to get more torque, you might put tape on it. So you need to measure the thickness of that now thicker axle with the calipers and put that into the equation. Tape. Questions? Answer. Jesse, look. Jesse. It's tape. All right, thank you. This has been a Baglio B-Band production.